the first airport specifically built for the jet age is dedicated near the nation's capital. Dulles International Airport is served by mobile lounges that transfer passengers from the terminal building to their planes often a mile away. Costing a quarter of a million dollars, these buses snuggle right up to the plane to discharge their passengers. 27 miles from Washington in Virginia, the airport is dedicated by President Kennedy with former President Eisenhower participating. Twice the size of Idlewild in New York, it is named for John Foster Dulles, noted Secretary of State under Mr. Eisenhower. The president paid high tribute to Mr. Dulles and his family, who have served the government so long and faithfully. It opens a new era in travel comfort. Chicago's O'Hare Airport, which for some time already has been the world's busiest flying field, is officially dedicated. President Kennedy, in a three-hour jaunt from Washington, pays tribute to Lieutenant Commander Edward H. O'Hare, the naval aviation hero of World War II, for whom the field is named. A thousand or more flights come in or out of here each day. Later, a parade through the loop takes Mr. Kennedy to a civic luncheon. He takes the opportunity to urge Chicagoans to support his $10.3 billion tax cut proposal, without which, he says, the unemployment rate will inevitably keep rising. 